All right. Welcome back, everyone. Oh my god, my cat just took the fattest shit ever. Uh, sorry about that. My that was my bad. Um, I accidentally hit end stream. I don't know why. Um, but <laughs> technical difficulties. My bad. It's almost like I forgot how to stream. Um, but yeah, we're bringing back eating on streaming, on on stream. Um, today we are playing the Cory again. Uh, very excited to play this. Hope you guys enjoyed it yesterday, and hope you'll enjoy it again today. And bear with me as I make all the wrong choices and kill all my characters except for Ryan because I want to keep Ryan alive. Anyways, it's enough eating for now. God, my cat stinks so bad. Got the ma most massive fucking shits ever. Get those man shits. Maybe? Um, hold on. Not sure what Twitch is doing right now. I don't know why. Twitch is just fucking awful on the phone now. Never wants to cooperate. It's good. We're good. We're good. All right. Mm -hmm. We're going to get right into it. Um, Hopefully get through chapters two and three. Maybe four. I don't know. Today. So. Uh, movie mode. What? No. Single player. Emma, chapter two. Yes. Yeah, so I'll to load the save. Of course I want to load the save. Truth or dare. The worst game in all of mankind's history. Not actually. That belongs to Fortnite. So here we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? That one plane crash movie. Fuck this bitch. I hate Emma. Emma this sucks. Horse? Or Jacob. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake may leave in Dude, she sucks. Taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. I feel so bad for Jacob. Though she he actually likes this well. bitch. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Wait, I shouldn't have done that. Whoa. Fuck. And scene. Oh, I mean, I could have kicked it. You loosened it for me. Well, at least I won't get in trouble. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? Dude, she sucks. It's my beard, I thought that was dude. pretty funny. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Jacob's a nice guy, all right? I feel bad for Jacob. Well, 
Там где вот I saw this in the premonition. Hold on. Yeah. Anyway, tear it. So she took out the shotgun shells. What? Even if that, what happened there? I don't know what I was expecting. Like, oh. I, I get it, she took out shotgun oh. shells, but like, what yeah. happened there? Oh. oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh... Check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it, mm -hmm. you pour in your vodka, it's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it? Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, that was pretty bad. I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. That was pretty creepy. Jacob. Oh, is this something? No. Not in here. Move along. Harem Scarum? Um... What are these posters are doing in Chris Hackett's possession? He must have forgotten to take this one down. Damage and memorabilia. These flyers, these flyers are promoting a traveling show called Harem Scare. The date listed indicates that it, it took place over six years ago. Oh. Probably eat my food, though. My shells and cheese. Okay then. Bro, this is like the back rooms. Kidding. Really is the back room, so. Who buys this crap? I don't know. Tourists? No, I should be watched. I hope you die. I'm gonna actually sucks, bro. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna go this other way first. Oh, there's something here. What is this? Is this a map? There's a giant cigar. Oh, they're blue for a second. Oh, large renovation plans. Blueprints for a structural re for structural repairs on the lodge's chimney column, judging by the scrawled annotation. So this is not something Chris Hackett has some money to action right now. Bro, poor. L.
but not you two. I wonder where this goes. Locked. Jacob! Come check this out. Yeah, Jacob. Oh, uh, <laughs> alrighty then. Door, buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Done. <laughs> Whoa! What a good lock picker. Whoa. Fucking mother love. Good golly, Miss Molly. I wonder if I kept this place locked up. Think he'll be pissed when we made a stash? What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. Yeah. Alright. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Why is Jacob such a simp for this bitch? Oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And a code. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> no, you're not. Look, what's over here? You aren't done. You aren't done. Let's say you're done, ma'am. Check this out. I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Did a bear do this? Torn hiking bag stashed with flecks of dry blood. Yo, bro. Ain't good shit. Uh uh. Trying to get a little suspicious. Sucks. Oh. So you're, uh. You're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah. For bears. For bears. Okay. Uh, well, I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. I'm gonna go stand really close to the windows so that I can get grabbed. What is that? I don't know what that is. I don't care either. Frankly, I don't care. There we go. useful for later maybe all right i'm in hey very nice <laughs> what else is in there uh just some fireworks oh, oh. fireworks yeah but i don't think we should no 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 emma Fireworks. They're loud.
What could hurt? You know, you're right. Bye. Now that I think about that, that was fireworks. Hell yeah. Now that I think about that, I think that was fireworks, not shotgun. Those two. Fireworks. <laughs> hey, I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. <sighs> oh, dude. Peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops. What the fuck is it? What are butter pops? I'm gonna be nice to no. Jacob. What? He's like a big child. I can't believe it. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my god. They're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No. No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing. Like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait. Is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Look, they predate expiration dates. Blah. Well, you're gonna love them. Blah. Oh my god. Blah. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm yeah. starting to warm up. I here. saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds? <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just... How does she around. not know what a wheelbarrow, a wheelbarrow is? God, I wouldn't eat it. Never mind, I take it back. I've lost all respect Ladies for a game, bro. Yep. Which way? Bro doesn't know what a wheelbarrow is. How do you not know what a wheelbarrow is? Just mind boggling that like I don't know. Oh, lag spike, lag spike, shit, oh, shit, right. shit. Ah, uh, oh, fuck, fuck. It's like it's just an okay. office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. They, what? You just said that and same thing twice. Engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, Bizarre Yet Bonafide? So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like, um, yeah, like, the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bona fide. Boner fide. I was yeah, literally just fine. about to say that. <laughs> I was like, he's probably going to say boner fide. So, should we check out Mr. Ryan is not Mr. amused Ryan at all. Sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay. That is well, pretty weird. I, I mean, what <laughs> Why? dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H. No. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. <laughs> Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Uh, so that I can ask. <laughs> you okay, uh, those mm -hmm. are both shitty Ooh. options. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode. Though. Hello? What? What? Who is it? Uh, hello. That was weird. It's weird. I thought I heard someone. Hmm. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. <laughs> Damn it, I missed my shot. 
<laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Maybe Dylan isn't so bad. Family photo. Oh, what? These are the same as a poster in the woods. Why does Chris Hackett have them? Was he connected to Harum Scarum? Harum Scarum in a way? Some way? Harum Scarum? Harum Scarum? Uh, family photo. A younger looking camp leader, Chris Hackett, with his two kids, Caleb and Kaylee. They look happy. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Oh, what is this? Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun. The... Yeah. No, the bears don't really come around because they're fucking cannibals Leave in the woods or whatever. Leave it alone. And you probably don't even know how to shoot a gun, Dylan. Dude, but what, what if, if we need a party tonight out in the woods and we end up in a sort of most dangerous game situation like when people hunt other people yeah yeah that's like exactly what is about to happen isn't camp it is over and hunting season has just begun true what if what if okay bear with me here what if what's on the menu tonight is us well then i guess we would need to protect ourselves exactly that's why we need the gun mm. for protection yeah not gonna happen what about for fun no okay yeah yeah totally I do well, kind of like we know Dylan's where the gun is if we need it. Like point of view. Your call, man. But like at the same time, it's like I know he's kind of just like fucking around. Like I like what he said. Like you know, what if we need it? Well, what if we're the one that's this? being hunted? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it goes to the basement. Huh. But why would Mr. H have a secret trap door in his office that goes to the basement? Maybe it was here before this was his office. He's like a million years old. This has always been his office. Bruh. It's probably for <laughs> Bro, is he even like 45? Okay, yeah, maybe 45. I don't so know. So that he can make a quick getaway when the heat comes down. Looks pretty young for 45, though. Or it's for storage. Go ahead, open it up. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so... You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. Um... No. Eh, on second thought, I'd rather not know what Mr. H is into. More mysterious that way. <laughs> sure. I feel like I made a good choice. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope no, it's nice. It's my chair. You taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> Come on, he's not gonna know. Okay, just be careful. What do you think I'm gonna do? Break it? Come on. Yes. Oh. That is exactly what you did. <laughs> That's a design flaw. Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. 
Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> okay. A list of the counselor's name, personal details, and their tasks at camp. Two names are crossed out. Laura Kearney and Max Brinley. Why didn't they show up? I know exactly why. What if I had just gone to that motel? Would there be characters on this now? So, got anything going on when you get back home? School or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the, uh, phones? Uh, they could probably use a little while longer. Ah. Oh. Okay. Can't you, like, speed it up at all? I can try to encourage them. Go for it! You guys can do it! It's not working. It's not working. Oh, wait. We not like leave. Oh, what's this? Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, <laughs> so you can poke around in Chris's private area. I, I'm sorry. Is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's you're not a little bit curious. I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but. Oh, I did it. Nothing but that. <laughs> You're using that wrong. Oh. <laughs> Ride is so funny. What a comedian. You're using that wrong. That is not how the saying is used. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure, he does. Wow, there's. Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't. Bro, what? Uh, Brian? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the cam. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just. They're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. What if it's not Mr. H? Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sighting, you know, that kind of thing. I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive hobby. Yeah, well, I mean, what else are you going to do out here? Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean... It's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Brian. It, it's weird. It's majorly yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but... It, it's It's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving the secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. Am I gonna see someone? Well, the 
สะDude, I really want to know, like, if, what the fuck is going on? I'm trying to like make it to where I can fucking see it. <laughs> it something's gonna happen already. I don't think so. Okay, these are boring. Yeah, very boring. That's one of them freaking just went down randomly. Right after seeing guy's face. Hey, bro, come with me. I'd be like, hell nah, there's somebody here. Everybody getting back in the fucking cabin. Or lodge or whatever. No. There we go. Bro, that went from 0 to 32 and 28 real quick. Over this way. Bedroom. You gonna play for us, Dylan? Dylan? Whoa, there's some pretty heavy duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Ibuprofen. Yeah, that's pretty heavy duty. Uh oh, what's that weird camera? Nice. Full up. That is not fully up. Hey, Dunzo. Alright, cool, let's go. Thank you. <sighs> this would be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Shady Glader Rocky Road. Oh. Let's go this way. I close my eyes. I'm gonna pick. Oh. oh my god, are you okay? I'll be okay. <laughs> Bro, you freaking slid like two feet. Come on, I'll spot you. Which way should I go first? So, okay. um, I heard this joke about artists. It's pretty bad. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You want to hear it? Sure. Okay. Here it is. 
Why couldn't the world's fastest painter ever keep a girlfriend? Hmm, why not? Because he always finished in one stroke. It's dumb. Sorry, Jacob told me about it. Uh, isn't that about golfers? Because of the stroke thing? Yeah, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Jacob Awkward. probably heard it from his campers. That makes so much sense. Those kids have filthy minds. <laughs> Whoa. Just a bird. Just a bird. Oh, I'm so sorry. I've just been on a little... Just been a little edgy lately. A little edgy. She's edgy, bro. Hey, don't worry about it. It's just the forest playing tricks on you. The forest? I used to go camping all the time with my dad. And you the forest reference? You hear and see some pretty weird stuff, but you just realize it's nature doing its thing. Nature Is doing its thing. thing. No, that's the forest up to its old tricks again. <laughs> I've never been camping. It's pretty nice if you open yourself up to it. So you have to be open minded to enjoy camping? No, I just mean there's a lot of stuff you have to overlook. Like basic comfort. You really just have to try it. I could take you some time. If you want. Yo. Um, maybe. Nick Let's making just moves. Make tonight first. Yeah. I need to find another tarot card soon. I think we're back near the path again. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just... Damn, Abby, you're really good. Damn, yeah. Abby. This is nothing. <laughs> no, really Damn, Daniel. That. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah. I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of. Best you know? girl right there. I'm sure you're capable of a lot. So far. Emma's yeah, worst. Of course, I just... By camera. Don't know what. Bird didn't even know what a wheelbarrow was. You'll figure it out. Did you hear that? Huh? Oh shit. It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. Oh. oh look! Oh, It's so tiny. <coughs> oh. oh. My god, he's so... <coughs> Hold on. You're in danger, hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing, tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting then which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. 
This could be difficult, when I feel like. danger has passed, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry, causing serious consequences. Mommy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, little piggy hog. <laughs> oh, little piggy hog. Place we get for a good story to tell a pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? Mm, I got a pretty good look. Ew. I think she was coming on to me. <laughs> Got yourself a little girlfriend. Little. <laughs> They're so cute together. We should head back. Is Caitlin all by herself? I don't understand. Finally get my phone back, and it's just a big dumb brick. <coughs> well, at least better than Jacob's. Broken. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now. Back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Look it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up. You know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check. Kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? Still no service. Ah, yeah. Sue! Well, you're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, so... I wonder, maybe a satellite fell out of the sky or something? Yeah, and landed in the forest, waking from her slumber, the hag uh, hacking. Okay. You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick! Just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. 
Uh, are you sure you guys are okay? Nobody got gored? We're okay. It wasn't a bullfight or anything. Though I think Nick did make a new girlfriend. Oh, do tell. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Special delivery! Okay, that was stupid. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where the hell did that gun come dude, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and... We bring you a like how Caitlin is like of only the finest funny, but at the same time, has to offer. No freaking like, way. Yes, furious and pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on, Emma. Please hand me the shotgun. What, you're gonna shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Okay, as much as I enjoy watching Nick squirm away from a challenge, I don't think this is a great idea. Hey, uh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should just, uh... Give Nick the Butter Pops as, like, an act of charity or something. Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! Oh, come on. <laughs> Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on! <laughs> All right, guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. <laughs> Bruh, poor Nick. So, just so you know, I was an expert marksman, third class, three years, third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you actually... Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me or is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil yeah, deck. Yeah, okay, thank you. Bye, bye. So, um, how was your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? It was... it was okay. Hey! a boy! So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah? Mmm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. Wait, no, 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 hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please just yeah. give me the gun. Uh -uh. I'm starting to like Jacob even say. less and less. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're, you're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. I already did this, but I don't need to do this. You're in danger, hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. 
Don't breathe. I already did this one. You Damn need it. to stop breathing. Tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting then which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger is past, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry, causing serious consequences. Okay. God, bro. Combat. I'm sorry to have to say there may well be times during your stay at Hackett's Quarry where you'll have to defend yourself using potentially deadly force. When engaging in combat, simply aim your weapon and shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Take note, if you're up close and personal with your target, you'll do more damage. The farther away, the larger the spread, and injuries may not be fatal. There's a time and place for the use of weapons, and you may want to consider all your options. Remember, it's not always wise to pull the trigger. That's how people get hurt. The fuck, bro? <laughs> this is the goofiest game ever, bro. Not actually. Ops. Wait, what am I supposed to be doing out again? All right, Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. All right, Nick, this time for real. Nice shot. Lucky. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. That's a lot Good of shots. Job. All right. You might want to, uh, Avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Oh, I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this fucking cannon doing? blaster. That is how you get someone shot. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Sorry, Jacob. Better luck next time. <laughs> Butter like next time? Hey, I didn't want to <laughs> say it, but you're both very mean. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jacob, but like, bro. Blam, we thought this was over. What the? Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pots. Bruh. Neither of us won, bro. Hack <laughs> <laughs> it, squirry, camp, fire pit. Oh, I like Ryan. Ryan's good. He's cool. He's chill. Okay. 
new idea. Party game. Mm. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style. Mm. Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So like normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can like make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Um... Truth. Really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I, uh, I... Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I, I'm not finished. Um, <laughs> have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All oh, right. Okay. Um. Uh, Abby. Oh my God. Just pick someone. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't know. Ugh. Ding ding ding. Too late. My turn. Ryan. Truth or dare. Truth. I'm an open book. Okay, okay. Let's get right down to it. Let's do. You and Mr. Hackett. Here we go. What were you doing in his office? Well, I know what you're fishing for, but it's actually super boring. If you must know, I needed some life advice. Advice, huh? Oh, whoa, whoa, M. Okay, I got this. Okay, so uh, if you go to settings, there's an option called incognito mode. And if you press that, no life advice about school. And, and that's no fair. I've, I've already answered my question. Maybe we can help. Uh, I don't know. You've all got your own shit going on. Besides, I, I figured just the mention of the word school would cause Jacob to hemorrhage or something. Ooh. <laughs> what the hell did I do? <laughs> that was good. Alrighty, that was good. I like Ryan. I mean, Jacob it's Beth's character. Good point. Hmm. Caitlin. Caitlin. What do you say? Truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's Come on. Well, let's use. Let's go on truth. When you were a kid, oh, what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, that's kind of a boring question. Fuck you. Got an answer. Well, the answer is... I don't know. That's the truth. Sorry. So, guess it's my turn. Nope. What? I smell bullshit. Okay, fine. You got me. I wanted to be a street performer. <laughs> no way. Well, um... <laughs> a street performer? You mean like, um, like... My hair is in my face, hold on. No, asshole. Like a mime or, you know, one of those statue guys that move when you give them a dollar. <clears throat> Caitlin is a mime? Yeah, no, I just can't imagine that. Thanks, Ryan. Well played. So now it's my turn. Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss. Jacob? Or. Oh. Nick? Uh. <laughs> what? Jacob. Well, Jacob, come on. 
shoot Jacob. Uh, sorry. Nick is Abby. This is not uh, there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. Well, fuck you. God, I hate her. M? Seriously? Guys. Ugh, fuck. No! God! Guys! Thank you, Nick. Dude! Fucking asshole. God, I hate Emma. Can we He's kill her? You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? It was just a game. Hey, I am nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was? It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. I'm pissed. All right, Emma is a shithead. Him. She deserves death. That was a douchey move, bro. Right in front of Abby and so, Jacob. Anybody want to play Bargeezy? What? <laughs> I love Caitlyn though. I was trying to lighten the mood. Oh, she was the one who who made up the dare. So that fucking shitty ass bitch. Fuck this. What are we fucking? You're my mom. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't find any tarot cards. Welcome back. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. So, then, what more has been found? You return without any more of my cards, yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Please, my friend. I didn't find any. Like, what do you want from me? That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. Okay. My headphones went out for a second, bro. Ah, shit. Stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Anybody can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Great. Where the hell am I? I feel bad for Abigail. Dude, this, that was so dirty of Emma. Fuck Emma and Caitlyn. Okay, I actually like Caitlyn more than Emma. Caitlyn is bad. I feel so bad for Abigail, though. Why is this plant so bright compared to everything else? Let's not this way. tower let's see the tower <clears throat> i missed two 
A whole two? Holy shit. The tower, jump free of your troubles, fight or flight. That's a question we all ask ourselves. But often when we when but often when leaping out of danger, we still face with we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step, it could be your last. I do not like this. No. Nick! Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! Coming, coming! Nick! Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so fucking awkward. You ran off. Bro, what is that? The predator? The fuck? I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. So, all that stuff back there... Oh my gosh. Emma really wanted to make Jacob jealous, huh? You think? I mean, yeah, why the heck else would she kiss me like that? True. I was just playing along. Yeah. It's just a game, right? Right. I feel bad for Nick, too, though. Yes! Yes! Let's fucking go. <laughs> okay, stop kissing. You're being stalked. I need to put my hands on the keyboard, bro. <laughs> Should we look? Why do neither of you have flashlights, so just saying. There's a mountain lion. Run! Help me. Dude, help Nick! Hi. 
Maybe that wasn't such a good choice. I'm fucking alive. The fuck was that? These QTs suck dookie though, by the way. Because it doesn't show you what you're supposed to be fucking pressing. It's a fun game. Bro. So whiny, Jacob. So whiny. It's what you get for liking a whore. So is Nick dead or no? Dude, if Nick or Dad you died, I would lose my shit. I'd restart from the beginning chapter. Probably. Oh. Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you found that. Of course. Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Jacob. I mean, you. I can't believe you. You fucking Frenched him. You know, in front of everyone. Jesus wept. French? Are we twelve? No, but Nick is. Kind of. <laughs> you know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> you you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sarpus, please. Fuck you. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? Fuck this bitch. Dude, she sucks. Fine. But she doesn't die. Sulking. But like other people do. I'm gonna lose my fucking shit, bro. In my mouth. Oh, or you can go grab us some towels. And we can go for a late night swim. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Summer fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. Okay. Jason Voorhees. Oh, the star. Oh, it's the star. Stars in the night sky. Beacons of light. Dreams of hope. Purpose. 
or a reminder of our insignificance, fear of despair. Trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity and sometimes proof. back over this way. Huh. It's not long ago. Um. North Kill Gazette. Or did I get anything else? Okay, anyways. North Kill Gazette. A recent newspaper article about two hikers who went missing in these woods. As of the date of publication and they haven't been found. I think we just saw one of them fucking water. Wonder if it was near here. That's just a wall, okay. I've gone down, Jacob. That's nothing. I think I can see something. Probably everything's fine. <laughs> Why do people always do that, bro? Like they they like assume something's up, and then it's like, nah, it's all fine. What are these numbers? Dates. Zero. What the hell? Why am I the dick for that? What is this? Is this something? No, that's not. I guess we could just like. I mean, she's kind of hot, but like she sucks ass. And you could shake it up doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can because you see. Oh, help! Help! I'm I'm drowning. How did I get undressed so quick? Strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> she sucks, bro. I'd let her drown. Nah, no. Nah. Well, why don't you ask Nick? Okay, I'm sure he'd love to rescue you. I'm not trying to be mean to Nick. I'm trying to be mean to her. I love Nick. Nick's goaded. She gonna come up and grab my feet. <gasps> Hell, man. Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> hey, Switch! Oh, stop being a drunk! Splash her, bitch. Give her a big old one. 
That was pathetic. Dunker. Dick move. Yeah, so it's yours. Ah, uh, the two worst characters for, 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 for each other. All summer, but I think we'd get a little pruny. Oh, you know what I mean. These literally are the two worst characters. I mean this. Jacob, I had a great summer with you. Then why do you want it to end? To be this summer. <laughs> okay, oh, look, how about this? Um, <clears throat> if I can do a backflip off of here, you let me come visit you, okay? How about that? Right. Hey! Where are you going? Come on! Like a scream, and it, it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of scream. I can't hear you. Okay, look, just, just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Seriously? I'm worried about Abby. All right, <laughs> I'm really worried about Abby. I do not want her dying at all. If Abby dies, I'm literally gonna be like, I'm restarting. <laughs> I'm gonna pull a Markiplier, bro. That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is going to make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know. Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast, you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let the cute preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Just the uh, three of us! Just the three of us! Oh my gosh! Uh, we gotta help her. Uh, yeah, no <laughs> shit! Where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Where's Nick? I... Go after Nick! Go! Okay. okay. Got this. Come on, Ryan. Come on. Watch me get Ryan killed and cry, bro. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. It's like late game, uh, game until dawn, but like early game. shortcut I damn it I press E instead of W fuck damn it's bull bullshit <laughs> yep 
Yes, I'm so good. Oh, I'll, I'll try. I'll try a shortcut again. No! Oh fuck! Right, you're fucking kidding me. Change it up on me like that, fucking shit, head. Bro, Nick's gonna be dead by the time I get there. Why did why why did freeze? Jacob's gonna die now. There's <laughs> a half naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. As much as I dislike Jacob, I don't really want him dying. Would you call out anyway? You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're gonna die. Shit. Yes. Oh shit. Oh, please, please, man, just just let me down, okay? Just don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? No. Okay. Okay, he's chillish. Kinda. Maybe he's chill? What are you doing? Shh. Quiet. I'm not gonna throw dirt. I think he's chill. Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Help. Tastes bad, boy. 
It's for your own good. Where are you off to now, girly? Uh, okay, so he camouflaged me, I think? Maybe? I have no idea what just happened, but okay. What the hell? Seems like just a blink and you're back to see me again. So, then. It's the star. Hmm. Stars. Stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance, fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes truth. The tower. Jump free of your troubles. Fight or flight? That's the question we all ask ourselves. But often when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Yes, please, Seymour. Yes, good. But I can only delve deeper into one possible future. So which is it? That's Choose. bullshit. The star. The star. The star. Huh? Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. That is horrible. It was... It it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... <sighs> oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Buddy, can you tell us what happened? I don't know, attack. Where's Abby? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... What the hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? A wendigo. Yeah, yeah. Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. A full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, fuck. shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's And it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Apply pressure, obviously. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. You're okay. It's okay. 
<laughs> Fuck that. Oh yeah. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. I mean, what? Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What what do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? Then how do you know it's an infection, not just dirt? I mean, if not treated, it will get infected, but there are fucking showers, so you can go clean it. You need to go clean it, like right now. Fuck. Ain't shooting, bro. Call out. Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. Why did you freaking freeze? It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run! Very brave. All right. That's the man you like. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? What? No, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot! I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick, is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked in the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. So wait, what happened to you? Right, right, okay, so, like I was saying, okay? I heard Abby screaming, so I came running, like as fast as I could. From the lake. Yeah, and then and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this like, I don't know, like a like a booby trap, like some sort of hunter's trap. The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just whoop. So I'm hanging there, half naked, and then this guy with like a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes. But I thought that guy lesson booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge, like right now. Oh, uh, hard agree. Also, why Jacob just completely fucking what I hope is strawberry jelly. Oh yeah, no. Um I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like um he had like a bottle. Thing. I don't know, dude. It's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah. No, it's super fucked up. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Hit. <laughs> Fucking stop! We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan! Sorry. This is bullshit! Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zip line. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. But yeah, I have an idea. You're gonna put him in a wheelbarrow. Let's go. Yeah, the thing Emma doesn't know what it is.
stupid bit. That sucks. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got what's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool well, one thumb. One available thumb. And it was here, on this strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island, all alone, with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a treehouse over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Oh, sure. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back, because I don't. But even if I did, I can't. Because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Well, explore bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Bending? To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> I'm going to get you killed. And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes it's you just really suck. What it is. God, I hope you die. I think I made my point. I'm gonna get you killed so easily. I will gladly get you killed. So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that, that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water. Kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. You're an kind idiot. Of like you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. He's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why does it have to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative, if I mean a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? Dude, if it means you can shut I up. I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Not good this way, though. Oh, what the hell. We're in it now, anyway. Well, and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? Shut I was for the next part of my life. Up. I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory, and I know it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all wah, the wah, wah, and yada, yada, yada. Wah, 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 wah. I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? I swear to God. Abby sees me as this confident person, but really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. I swear if you say one more thing, I'm gonna fucking lose my shit. the first time I've been alone all summer. Kind of like it. I guess that kind I of kinda thing like is it. a good thing. I know the feeling is for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, I kind of like it. 
sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. It's nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. She isn't watching because you're not streaming. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years, we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And that spark that changed our lives forever. Then we'll be like 70 year old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Only time will tell, Jakey boy. And as they say, time makes fools of us all. But we will be the oldest, sexiest fools there ever were. <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Sorry, buddy. You'd rather suck Jacob's D as a 70 year old man than Jacob's D right now, bro. What a bitch. <laughs> Still warm. Looks like someone was just here. Quoth the raven nevermore. You. A box of matches from the Harbing Harbinger Motel. Oh. A few matchsticks have been snapped off and there are marks on the striking surface. Okay. All right. Harbinger Motel. Interesting. I'm gonna be looking for tarot cards, bro. Oh yeah, hold on. What did that one tarot card say? Tarot. It's a tower or a star? It's a star. Nothing this way. I guess up the ladder we go. Stop it, stupid shit. There we go. I guess I gotta do this one handed, huh? That didn't sound great. <laughs> oh, shit. Dog, you suck. luxurious Skyway Treehouse, obviously. Constructed in the year 180 fuck 
by a blindfolded man who used only the finest rotting wood, rusty nails, and donkey spit that money could buy. A real Hackett vintage classic. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. I'm laughing so hard right now. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and oh look. It seems oh, M-A-O. I forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But I don't recognize this. Oh, you shit. Hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings, or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? You know, I wouldn't mind you dying. But. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. Oh, taser. Fun. Okay, so I think there's something up there. And it is not going to make me jump. I can promise you that much. Well, I mean, it's going to kill you, so. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. Bear spray. Oh my god. There we go. Spray, spray, spray. Okay. Oh. I should have let her die. I should have let her die. Whatever. It's fine. Easy. I got it. He's okay. You in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just. I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah. yeah. Come, on. Come on. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola.
This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something neat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I really hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is gonna cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No. Did you? A couple times, yeah. Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We got a call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Uh, cops? Yeah, don't fuck around. There's hunters out there trying to kidnap us. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. And they cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident, long story. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. What's wrong? Dead. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. You try the hang-up thingy. What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay. Well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Me? 
Maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay. So, for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. Oh, my God. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure. But that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Ah, uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. Am I interrupted something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. Huh. Strength. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose 
There are forces that work within us all, and with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see, and as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. <laughs>